3.3b, General Linear Equations, Combine Like Terms. Sometimes in equations, you must do something before you solve. And before we solve, we must simplify the left and right sides of the equation which means before we can add or subtract things to either side or multiply or divide things on either side, we have to start by combining like terms. One way to do this is combine like terms. As you can see in example one, if I look at the left-hand side of the equation, there are like terms. And if I look at the right-hand side of the equation, there are also like terms. Before we can do any adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing to solve for a variable, we must combine these like terms. Remember, when combining like terms, it is somewhat helpful to highlight like terms. We can only combine the like terms that are on the same side of an equal sign, which means we cannot combine it with this 8x. The same thing applies for the 7 and the negative 1. They cannot be combined with the negative 3 because of this equal sign. Remember, there is essentially a dotted line separating the two sides, and the only way to get across is by doing the same thing which would be adding or subtracting, we will see in a moment. We start by combining the 5x and the negative 2x to give us 3x. The negative 3 is unchanged and therefore written down. The 7 and the negative 1 become a 6. The 8x is unchanged, therefore it's written down. At this point, we now have an equation that has variables on both sides. We have already learned how to solve such equations. Remember, you start by getting the variables on one side. This is accomplished by picking the smaller of the two, in this case the 3x, and moving it to the other side. Remember, the way to move something in an equation is to do the opposite of what's currently happening. Currently, it was being added, so we in turn subtracted it from both sides. In doing so, we get a 0 minus 3, remember zeros are not needed to be written down, equals 6 plus 5x. We now do order of operations backwards, and we add or subtract whatever is near the x. This means we will be subtracting 6 from both sides. This gives us negative 9 equals 0, which we do not need to write down, plus 5x. Next, we need to get rid of the multiplication of the 5. To do so, we do the opposite by dividing both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, which gives us x equals negative 9 divided by 5 is negative 9 fifths due to the fact that it does not divide evenly. This gives us the answer of x equals negative 9 fifths. Example 2 also has common or like terms on each side of the equation. Remember, start by putting a dotted line to help separate the two sides. Then you can highlight or circle those on the same side that are like terms. Remember, you cannot combine one, them with the like terms on the other side of the equation. You can only combine on the same side. This gives you 2 plus x equals negative x plus 8. Remember that when you have negative 3 plus 2, you get a negative 1. This can either be written as negative 1x or just negative x. Next, you move the smaller of the two variables so that you can get the variables on the same side. 
Currently, we have a positive 1x and a negative 1x. The negative 1x is considered the smaller of the two. You therefore add x to both sides. We now have 2 plus 1x and 1x gives you 2x. Negative x plus x is 0, which does not need to be written down, and the 8. You now need to do order of operations backwards by adding or subtracting the piece next to the x. This leaves you with 2x equals 6. Now you must get rid of the multiplication next to the x by doing the opposite and dividing. 2 divided by 2 is 1x, which can be written as x. And this equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. The answer, therefore, is x equals 3. Remember that in equations, you must first Simplify the left and right sides before you can solve the problem. Remember, you also can only combine like terms that occur on the same side of an equation.